Hello there, it's Laura Davalo here with a retro-themed clean and simple slider card tutorial. When we pull on the slider panel, the cola disappears, revealing a little red heart. I started by die cutting my main panel with the second largest die from the stitched mod Rectangle Stacks Dynamics and a bottle from the new Soda Pop Dynamics. Next, I stamped the sentiment from the Soda Pop stamp set, first in Wild Cherry Premium Dye Ink and then in Versamark so that I could heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. I should have stamped it a smidge higher up so that I could have cut more of a half moon to better grab the sliding panel, so keep that in mind if you want to create this card. Off camera I cut another small panel out of acetate and here I'm trimming the edge to adhere it to the back of my main panel. It was a totally unnecessary step since I ended up backing the panel with another larger one. Here I'm tracing the shape of the bottle onto the secondary panel so that I can cut it out before stacking the two panels with liquid glue. Using this type of adhesive gives us a little more wiggle room than double-sided tape. Okay, now I'm ready to adhere the acetate, although I should have stamped the heart on the second white panel first, but it was actually an afterthought, so I'm doing the stamping last. If you want to add a heart, do it in this order to make it a lot easier. First stamp the heart onto the second white panel, then trim the edge of the second white panel, and finally add the acetate to the back of the main panel. Here I'm trimming the stitched edge of said panel simply so that it doesn't show on the sides when we add the main panel. After temporarily adhering the two panels together with two strips of tape, I added liquid adhesive to the back of the second white panel and here I'm adhering it to the A2 card base of Wild Cherry cardstock. Mm, there we go, let's peel off the tape and add some glue behind that part as well. Okay, I had done a little test on a small piece of acetate with this E57 Copic reinker off camera and it worked nicely, so here I'm trying it on a bigger piece. I had to work quickly because I didn't have any rubbing alcohol to dilute the ink with. This is the second or third time that I try this technique in my life, so I didn't really know what I was doing. I just wanted a couple of layers to make it look like some kind of cola soda, and some tiny bubbles would have been nice. I quickly learned that if you add too much ink, the acetate turns sticky, and I ended up using a thicker kind of acetate from a plastic divider that I had in my stash. The next step was to punch a half circle to be able to grab and pull out our acetate slider panel, but I was afraid of making it too big and ruining the sentiment and ended up making it too small. Off camera I trimmed the acetate into a two and a quarter by four and one eighths of an inch rectangle and here I'm adhering foam tape to the sides of it. I forgot to turn on my camera for the next step, so I will just have to explain it. I cut two four and a quarter by three eighths of an inch long cellophane strips and adhere them to the upper edge of the back of the main panel to act as stops so that we don't pull out the slider panel too much. I could have also added a couple of strips of foam tape here and here, but the half circles that we will adhere to the acetate panel also act as stops so that we can't push it too far in. After adding two more strips of foam tape, I'm ready to adhere the whole thing to the card base. Next I use double-sided tape to adhere the two half circles to the front and back of the slider panel. I made it too small to stamp the pull sentiment from the interactive label stamp set, so I used a little enamel triangle instead. And here's the final result. I only added a couple of matching enamel stars to finish this clean and simple slider card. I hope you liked the tutorial and I'm sure that you will be able to avoid my mistakes and make it a lot cooler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hasta la próxima.